to know more about the world. Don't give up. I will recommend Japan. It is awesome. New experience. New connections. Go for it. Just come. And you will find a new world. Osaka is a large town in western Japan. It is adjacent to Kyoto and Nara, which are famous tourist destinations with good transportation. Easily accessible from central Osaka is the Graduate School of Engineering Science. The campus is located in a suburb with security and greenery. The Graduate School of Engineering Science was established in 1964. Combining both science and engineering, along with their fusion of research, the school promotes human resources development. While science conducts research that deepens one's specialty, engineering conducts research that society requires. The engineering science combination fulfills basic research that considers the needs of society. Another feature of engineering science is the attractiveness of science and engineering research. Among Japanese national universities, this is unique to Osaka University. In the Graduate School of Engineering Science, world-leading researchers are conducting research to open up a new world. High-impact research results with high originality are shared with the world through publications in top journals and more. For example, Professor Masahiro Kitagawa is conducting research on quantum information devices. This includes a technology for determining the effect of anti-cancer agents in a short period of time by improving the sensitivity of MRI by 10 million times. Professor Keisuke Fuji is advancing research while collaborating with experimental and theoretical groups to realize new quantum ideas. Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro is the first person in the field of intelligent robotics. He is studying what humans are through robot development in order to realize intelligent systems that support future human society. The Graduate School of Engineering Science consists of three departments and 11 divisions. Based on physics and chemistry, the Department of Materials Engineering Science applies comprehensive theory and experiment research activities to develop new functions of substances and future substances useful for the future of humanity. We study the functions of molecular aggregates which are absent for isolated molecules and emerge only when the order and randomness of the aggregate structures are well balanced. Integrating engineering with science is our basic concept. In the aspect of establishing a new functional self-assembly system for the application of the material and medical fields, designing based on the engineering and the scientific approaches are both essential. My research is supporting artificial intelligence through our novel materials design. I have to say the people and their hospitality. During my first few months, everything was new to me and I got a lot of help from the pure strangers for many times. And I have my host family which is provided for by the university and we hang around for one cement. So and the foods of course. Education and research in the Department of Mechanical Science and Bioengineering focuses on the mechanisms and fundamental principles underlying man-made systems as well as living organisms. In addition, societal, environmental, health and industrial issues are addressed with the integration of advanced sciences and technologies. Traditionally, fluid mechanics is a field of science but of course, it has many applications in the engineering. In fact, in our school, there are world-leading researchers of fluid mechanics, and we are studying many aspects of the fluid mechanics. For example, I'm interested in the complex flows, and I'm, I'm collaborating with physicists, geophysicists, 
chemists, mathematicians all over the world, in addition to our school. I'm also collaborating with engineers in, the, in some companies. So I think that the, our school, that is the School of Engineering Science, is the right place for me to study this subject. My primary research field is Extended Reality, XR, which encompasses both virtual reality and augmented reality. Specifically, I focus on projection mapping, a technique that visually overlays virtual content from a projector onto physical surfaces. While projection mapping is widely used in the fields of entertainment and art, it also holds great promise for broader applications. In fact, it is already being put into practice in areas such as medicine, industrial design, and cosmetics. XR is an exciting research field because it lies at the intersection of various disciplines, for example, systems science, informatics, psychology, and neuroscience. My research area is bioengineering at the molecular and cellular level, in which we are trying to understand how cells, living cells that constitute our body, are going to adapt to changes in the surrounding environment. Because I think biomedical engineering will shape the future. I'm the member of Kiona Lab, and I know Professor Kiona for quite a while. We started collaborating when I was doing my master's degree in Ukraine, and I was interested in chaos theory and nonlinear methods. And uh, Professor Kiona Lab is one of the most advanced labs in this field. In order to contribute to the development of the information society, the Department of Systems Innovation offers a wide range of education and research from hardware technology, such as electronics, system science, and mathematical science, to system design and mathematical analysis. Research allows us the pursuit of unknown areas and new discoveries. It involves tackling unsolved problems or challenges. We explore ideas for solving them and search hidden links, fully using our creativity and innovative thinking. Such a process is very stimulating and a real pleasure for me. Our lab is a top tier research lab in robotic manipulation. We have a strong connection with the industry. We are in academia, but we train our students to not only publish high quality research results, but also develop systems that meet the requirements raised by our industry partners. Back in 2015, I spent one incredible year here in the School of Engineering and Science, and uh, I decided to come back for my master's degree now. Studying abroad widens your perspectives in so many ways. Being presented with uh, a new culture, a foreign language, food that you are not used to, all those things can really challenge you and push you to grow in a way you never would have thought possible. So my advice is don't wait any longer, go for it. We have international academic exchange agreements with many overseas universities. We also engage with researchers and students through collaborative research. In addition to sending young researchers and students to major overseas universities, we are active in accepting international students from different countries. Currently, about 230 international students from around the world and about 80 foreign researchers are enrolled. Our graduate school sends approximately 40 students overseas each year. Graduate education courses in English, known as special English programs, are offered. Numerous courses are provided in Japanese or English every other year to ensure the same curriculum for both international and Japanese students. International students and Japanese students are working together and in a very good relationship. And also the good thing is uh, different nationalities have their different research style that motivates students each other. Students who have completed their research at the Graduate School of Engineering Science often advance to the manufacturing industry 
into the field of information and communications, with many researchers active throughout the world. We are very international in our lab. More than half of the research staff and students are from foreign countries. Their originality spans Asia, America, Europe, and Africa. We have different ways of thinking. Our ideas clash and forge a new understanding of the robotic world. I will work in pharmaceutical company from next April. I would like to work in Japan as a researcher. Advancing to a doctoral degree, I want to contribute something to the world with my research.